Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'll be designing and building another cargo bike. So I built a cargo bike and it's what I'd call a traditional cargo bike so you've got the up to the handlebars you've got a basically you've got a push bike with no front wheel and where the front wheel is there's a, a cargo box if you will and in the case of the one that I built it's two foot by four foot and then at the end of the cargo box, you've got your front wheel. I'll put a link at the end of this video. Recently, I built a tricycle using a tricycle kit, similar to that one up there. So, so that got me thinking, would not a better cargo bike be a three wheel, be a tricycle with a trailer? So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna build a tricycle, but it's gonna be a reverse tricycle and it's going to be designed specifically for hauling cargo so it's going to have a tow bar on and eventually i will build a trailer for it though that will be in another video so yeah we'll get cracking with that all right guys i've almost got the front axle built for the reverse tricycle so with it being a reverse tricycle the front wheels steer i'm just going to use these little ball joints and connect them onto there and then got this got this uh can't remember what diameter that is here. it's 14 mil uh, steel, mild steel pipe, but it's there and thereabouts 10 mil internal diameter. So put that thread up there, weld it around there, and then these ball joints will they'll go in there like that, and then that will give me the that can go between between the two stub axles there that to size and then that all will take that axle there off the Sturmey Archer braked wheels Sturmey Archer wheels with drum brakes so I'll have two a braked axle up front and also a rear brake and plenty of stopping power I'll make this tie rod up now and then about ready to start Chopping the donor bicycle. So that's the tricycle. The reverse trike basically built up. Some bracing to go on the front axle. And surprisingly light. Get my point of balance, there we go. Surprisingly quite light. Alright guys, so I've got the got the tricycle built up and i went for this inch box three mil wall on the other cargo back i chopped the down tube out this tube here and just made it a square but because cable routing such a nightmare um so this is the original cable route this plastic cable guide and that goes under there so i've made it so that still fits under there so i can use the existing because on the other cargo bike I built, I just cut these, um, I cut these sleeves off, and then I just tacked them onto the the frame I built. But it's it's a faff, it's a real faff. So I thought I'll just leave the down tube in this time, and we'll use the the existing cable guides. That's why I've had to use this inch box. So it's not ideal because, and I'll show you. There is quite a lot of flex in the frame, so if you see that, because ordinarily a bike would just be the two diamond shapes, and that's as strong as ours is. Tiny bit of flex at the bottom bracket, but it's negligible unless you're an athlete. With putting the axle on the front, it's giving it an extra pivot point, so we've got it flexing like that. So what I'm going to do is put a brace in here, and that'll. Give it even more strength but then i'll go 
more from this brace down to the axles, down to the axle with two more braces and then that should get rid of the crazy flex in the frame. Okay so that's the front axle brace mopped up, I'm just going to weld that now and then we'll have something going down there to meet the axle. Okay that's all the frame brace in place. Uh, we've got the left and right sorted out so it's not not as flexible now uh, next job got to fit the steering mechanism because that's not connected yet I'm thinking of doing a few episodes on this possibly well the build which is there and thereabouts done now I've just finished the steering off and that works nice so we've got decent lock from one way to the other that lock um, bumps out on the braces the other lock just needs a bump stop putting in on this steering arm here because if you hit a rock it could go beyond and then you've got you'll have trolls getting it back so just gotta put a bump stop for that steering arm like I said that one's not a problem this is the build done and the next episode I'll have it painted and obviously built up and we'll test it I'll probably put the mortar on and the battery subscribe guys if you don't want to miss the next episode of the reverse trike cargo bike and thanks for watching